I genuinely cannot believe that I am making this video right now. And I, I actually can't even believe that there are rumors swirling on the internet about this that are wildly out of control, spread by idiots. Remember, number one, rumors are spread by idiots and they're believed by bigger idiots. Okay. And that's kind of where I'm at with this. As you all know, I'm very unfiltered. I, um, I've, I walk a very thin line when it comes to unfiltered content such as this, right? Um, it can go either way, right? I am not a career YouTuber. I'm going to put this out there right now. I don't do this for a living. I have graciously had so many of you follow me over the past five years of doing YouTube. And I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I never have been. I quite possibly never will be. Uh, but I like doing what I'm doing, right? So there is a big, big, big rumor spread all around the internet right now. There's actually a couple, and I've got them listed right here on my computer and that I'm going to address right now. Let's get the one out of the way. CJ, you have not posted in 30 days. What in the world is going on? And do I need to un unsubscribe for your, your channel? Let's just put it this way. If you feel the need to unsubscribe from a channel because they have not posted a video in 30 days and they don't do YouTube, and they actually have a life outside of this, I didn't want you to subscribe to my channel to begin with. I want people who are supportive no matter what, 100% you know, behind me, whether I post one video a month, one video a year, or one video a week. Whatever that might be, I want you all to understand I appreciate the love, the support, and the unwavering, unwavering support that you all have given me. Now, this is more of, um, I, I've... There's so many people out there who are spreading false rumors right now. And, you know, listen, I'm the type of person I don't I don't ever come on here and, you know, bash people. I, I you know people make videos about me all the time. What I don't even care. Like, whatever. Like if they're sitting in their mom's basement doing that, well, like, go for it. Like, it does not matter. But what hurts me, um, I can't even say that. Well, it hurts me. I sound, you know, not like like a wimp there, but what really gets me is the people that create a false rumor. Now, let's go ahead and bury this hatchet right now. I have a video coming out this Friday. Inside of that video is the winner of the MacBook, um, the trip to the farm, all that good stuff. It's all announced within that video right there. Uh, we had some legal issues that we had to cut around for a lot of a random Nautica video that was supposed to drop last week. That is not cleared. And I'm not sure if that's ever going to be cleared within the next 30 to 60 days. When you're talking about legal stuff, like there's a lot of stuff. That, <laughs> if I would have posted it, a lot could have gone wrong very quickly. And I don't want that for me. I don't want that for my team. I don't want that for all of you who question, well, why did that video get taken down? Um, but let's talk about this. Uh, there is rumors about my friends no longer working for me and that I have changed ever since I uh, started dating Chelsea and let's just put it all out here right now. If you are any one of those people who thinks I've changed or thinks that my friends have abandoned me or I abandoned my friends because of Chelsea, let me tell you right now, I'm going to look you dead in the eye and, you know, let me, let me subtly give you a punch in the mouth through the camera. That is not the case whatsoever. It's not. You can call Chris. You can call Dylan. You call, call either one of them. That is not the case whatsoever. Um, Sonny. It's another case. Sonny just doesn't want to film anymore. He had a very traumatic experience that, quite frankly, if you had that same experience, you probably wouldn't ever even step foot out of your house. I'm leaving that to him. Part of the documentary we were supposed to do with him did not get pushed all the way through. I can post half of it, but the other half is a little bit too personal, right? When it comes to Chris, Chris wanted to move back up to New York to be around family. He had zero family. I was, you know, his only family and friends here in Delaware, right? So it sucked. Um, and, and Chris is growing up. Chris wanted to, Chris has wanted to have his own channel ever since he started working for jazz way back when, and then he started working for me. And, uh, you know, basically it's as simple as this. If you were eight and a half hours away from your family and you know, you work, 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 all this crazy hours and stuff like that. You probably want to break. You probably want to be home close to your family. Why wouldn't you? And Chris is close with his family. Him and his dad are best friends. Um, him and his mom are really close. His whole family, they're really, really close. So just airing the rumors out there, uh, me, Chris, and Jazz actually have a collab that we've scheduled here in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be fun. 
we're, we're bringing the boys back together, basically. And, you know, listen, that's that. At the end of the day, that is that. Now, the next thing is Dylan. Dylan has moved on to a more uh, what I would call structured career in marketing and content creation for another company. That doesn't mean I hate him. Doesn't mean he hates me. Everyone grows up. Now, I'm going to ask you this. When you were 20 years old, are you, or are you still doing the exact same thing and hanging out with the exact same people and working with the exact same people as you did when you were 20? Even if you were five years ago, you were 20 years old. Um, everything changes. Everyone evolves. Everyone grows up and everyone finds their path in life. And you can't blame Dylan. You can't blame Chris. Anyone for wanting to do better in their lives or make a change. Dylan wants a family. Dylan wants a house. Dylan doesn't want to be out on the road all the time, right? Chris wants to go and travel and be around family back home in New York, all that good stuff. But there's been so, not so many, but there's been enough comments that I felt like I needed to clear the air with all of this and basically say, hey, listen, the rumors are not true. Um, Chelsea has not changed me except for the better. You all have got to realize since 2019 when I started YouTube, like really pushing YouTube content out. Yeah, I was a bit of a wild child. I, I would not be home for months at the time, weeks at the time. So when we were pumping out two and three videos a week, it's just not feasible for my lifestyle and what I want out of my life now. And I hope that everyone can respect Appreciate that and understand where I'm coming from here that I do want to get married. I do want to have kids. I'm having a kid like that announcement video um, was on my Instagram and all that. We're going to do an official one here on the vlog or not here on the main channel, but on my vlog channel, we're going to do a more official announcement that way. And I want you all to understand that it doesn't mean I'm quitting YouTube, um, but it does mean that there are changes to my schedule. I'm not traveling for months at the time anymore. It's not conducive. It's not healthy. I barely saw my family. I've been taking so much time and spending with my family over the, the past six months. I've just, I've never done that. I've never done that. And I'm enjoying it. I'm still filming YouTube content. Why in the hell would I go and hire a brand new videographer if I wasn't serious about YouTube? There's people that are like, CJ, I'm unsubscribing from your channel because you don't post much anymore. Well, screw it. Unsubscribe. <laughs> if I could hit the button for you, I'd do it. Um, but to the people who are sticking around, the people who are supportive no matter what, you all are the ones that I do YouTube for. I do this for fun. I don't do it for a career. A lot of people are saying that, you know, I just dropped my fans. And like I, I had this guy on Instagram. He's like, you dropped your fans. I, I didn't drop my fans. Any of my fans that leave because I'm taking time for myself and there's other things going on in the background that no one even has a freaking clue about that I'm going to get into here on this video, that is why I've not posted for, well, 30 days. And looking forward to the future, there's so much content. We have trips scheduled to go to the gold mine. We have collabs scheduled with different creators. There's so much that we have planned, but you all are not seeing that because I don't put my whole life out there. Right, I, I put enough out there for you all to see and enjoy in my haunted videos and my scary stuff like that. I love it. I get a kick out of it. Like It's my thing. I love it. So with that being said, I wanted to clear those rumors up right there that um, Chelsea has changed me for the better. She's made me a better family person. Uh, I've, I've spent more time with my family and um, I'm thankful for it. I'm really, really thankful for it. I've grown up. I've matured. I'm not the immature wild child I used to be, and nor do I want to be. I don't. I, I feel like I am the best version of myself right now. And another factor that has led into me not putting a YouTube video up in 30 days, I finally bought my dad's auction from his estate. When he died, he did not have a will. So all of his assets went to his estate. And if you know anything about not having a will, it gets messy. It gets messy really, really, really quickly. So I had to buy the business and the land from him, or not from him, but his estate. And it was a massive undertaking. More stress than I, I can even tell you about. Because one minute it looks like it's going to go through, the next minute it looks like it's not. And I didn't want that land to be turned into a shopping center or another auction company come in and buy it. So I had to step up. I had to figure out a way to do it. And I did it. And... It means so much to me. 
and you all don't get it. Or the people who are saying that they are hating on me because I'm not posting YouTube videos, those are the ones that don't get it. And when you own businesses and you're responsible for 67 or, or I think I'm 67 employees right now, all of them depend on me. If I don't give leadership and I don't, you know, give that strength and that ambition to everyone working for me, they can't even feed their families. I'm the knot at the end of the rope. And at the end of the day, it all, it all boils down to me. So yeah, I, um, I officially own that and I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. A lot of my attention is being put towards that. Um, the daily vlogs had to stop. Uh, we got to like day 15. They had to stop because well, Chelsea is pregnant. Like we've been trying for a long time and, uh, yeah, long story short, like it finally happened. And when, you know, you're going to doctor's appointments and you're trying to hide this stuff, like I felt that it was more wrong hiding more things from you and like not putting a, a, a realistic vlog out that I just felt weird. I really did. I, I felt like I was hiding stuff from you all. I feel like you all who do support me on wave or un, you know, with your unwavering support, I felt like it was wrong hiding it from you, even though it was something personal and we wanted to tell our families first and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically what's going on. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, got new, I've got a new company. I got two new companies that I just purchased and that's taken a lot of time away from me. Uh, I do have a video coming out this Friday and I hope that you all can watch it. I hope you, you all enjoy it like you used to. And again, the gold mine videos, those are coming up next and they're, they're wild. I'm telling you that it's this. We've had some problems at the gold mine and I just, listen, I've never owned a gold mine before. I didn't know the problems that come, that came with it. I was like, Hey, just buy gold mine, start digging and start mining and start exploring. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. There's so much more to it. There's a lot of regulatory things. And, um, yeah, we, we've just run into a lot of like small roadblocks. Um, but they're, they're all going to be good in the end. This is going to be great content for you all. And I, I truly do believe that you all are going to love it. And I, again, this is just a short video, me explaining and addressing some rumors. And I, I kind of feel half idiotic even having to, to, to make a video like this. And, you know, I'm in the basement of my new house and I truly don't know why I'm filming this video. But here I am. I'm trying to keep everybody happy. Uh, but most importantly, I, I need you all to understand, please keep supporting me. And I do appreciate the people who are, are always, always, always there no matter what. So I love you all so much. I promise I will see you Friday. I promise it'll be a good video. And I can promise you it will be business as usual from this point on. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all Friday.